Hello everyone, Jason here with BC Edge. Uh, I'm out here to try a little experiment. I want to cut some titanium using a tile saw. I have no idea if this is going to work and I couldn't find any information on if it's possible, what happens. So we're going to try and cut a few pieces and see what it does. So I'm wanting to cut some of these titanium pieces to make some, uh, some knife parts out of. And cutting it on the bandsaw has been a huge pain. It wears out the blades really quick and it doesn't want to cut perfectly straight and it leaves a, a kind of a jagged edge that I have to clean up on the sander. It takes a lot of extra time. If I can get a clean, straight cut using the tile saw, it'll be much faster and much easier. See, here's one of the jagged edges from the bandsaw cut. See how rough that is. So this is a DeWalt wet tile cutting saw. It uses water for coolant and a diamond blade to cut hard materials like granite or tile like it, the name implies. And uh, this is a pretty nice machine. I've been using it to cut some carbon fiber, which it does a great job of. And uh, this is the first time I've tried some other material that it's not really designed for. We'll see, worst case scenario is that I burn up a blade and it's destroyed. Well, I can just get another one of those. Anyway, uh, I've got a couple pieces of material here. I've got some 1 8 inch thick and I've got some quarter inch thick. And we're gonna try both of those. My prediction is that this is going to be very loud and it's going to take a while to get through the material, but I really have no idea. And we'll see how long the blade lasts, if at all. All right, just setting up my fence here. I want this to be about six inches long. So which basically means I'm cutting this piece in half. Try to line up the line with the blade in the center. There we go. All right, I think that's it. Okay, let's try it. Well, I cut it. It definitely tried to pull the material in. I might have to uh, 
adjust the height of this blade so that it doesn't dig in so much. All right, I got the blade set up a little bit, uh, a little bit deeper this time. Let's try this one out on another same type of material. See how this works. is working it definitely is kind of melting the material a little bit leaving a, a sharp edge but it's uh, smooth so uh, I'm gonna try some of the thicker material uh, I need to have my doubts it seems like it's struggling even with this a little bit Holy crap, guys. It's actually hailing out here. Middle of the desert. Just started coming down. That's crazy. I haven't seen anything like that in a while. Some pea-sized hail. Maybe I should put the car in the garage. So I want these to be some two-inch pieces. I think I've got it. <laughs> wow okay as you can see at the last bit it sort of deflected enough to suck it down into the machine and pull it out uh, wow so it does cut the material but it pretty much just melts through it And that last little piece was kind of scary. You saw it sucked it into the machine. Good thing to keep your hands clear. Up until that point, it was doing a, a pretty nice smooth cut. It uh, definitely takes about the same amount of time as what the bandsaw does. But it would save a little bit on cleaning up after the fact. I don't know. I'm gonna try one more. Ah, so during that last cut, my blade height adjustment actually started moving up, or at some point it did, so it didn't stay locked down. I'm gonna have to try to make sure this is really locked in for this next one. That was probably part of the reason it tried to pull it out, or that could have happened during the part where it sucked it in there. Uh, it's 
hard to tell if this blade is ruined or not. Um, it was definitely starting to slow down. Yeah, you can see some sections in those little segments where it looks like it's a little bit, got a little bit toasted, probably removed some of the diamond material on there. So yeah, I think that blade's done. All right, so does this work? Well, yes and no. It does cut, but It does cut and it leaves a pretty good finish. It does kind of melt through it a little bit, leaves a bit of a burr on the back. And it, it's it's a, a pretty good cut, but it does take a long time to get through it and it's slowing down. So on the second cut, it was really slow going. And if you start to put too much pressure on it, the whole thing starts to vibrate and shake. And it's a little bit dangerous when you get to the end the way that it starts to pull the material into the towel saw. So I definitely don't recommend doing this to cut titanium, but uh, that was an interesting experiment. Now I know that uh, probably a bandsaw upgrade is in my future. Something with an automatic feed and some carbide teeth would do a better job where I don't have to babysit it and I can cut these pieces. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.